All right, well, hello there. It is Friday, February 16th, and it is 11 o'clock in the morning, which means that the morning sale has wrapped up. Um, <laughs> yes, I. it's uh, after, after the sale feeding time, and just when I think I know exactly which foods they like, Joe has decided he doesn't like the one that I thought was number one on the list. There you go. Cats. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so uh, the morning sale. Yes, uh, that was a really fun morning sale. Thank you all so much for joining me um, tonight. Yeah, the Sue Spezio show. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the morning sale. Um, I am going to throw around. I brought uh, 50 items to the sale and 32 of them sold, uh, which means 18 are still available. And let's go ahead and talk about the items that are available. Uh, so I had brought some pictures. So I have some cabinet cards. You can see I have some small cabinet cards and I have the larger cabinet cards. Uh, this one, I don't know who this fella is. There's nothing written on the back of this one, but I'll get in close um, and I'll give you some numbers on these. Um, again, just because some of them are similar and it'll be a little easier with numbers, uh, but he is $2 number three. $2 number three. And these cabinet cards are typically from like the 1880s up to like maybe 1910 or so um, that you will find these. Uh, sometimes, um, yeah, most of them I see are from like the 1880s, 1890s. So it's that time frame. Um, but that one was $2, number three. Now, the next one here, uh, he is from Newton, Iowa. And I'll show you the back on him. There is the back. He is from Newton, Iowa. And he is $2, number four. So $2, number four. Uh, this fella, don't know who he is or where he is from. The back is blank on that. And he is $2, number five. And then we've got this fella. Now, he is also from Newton, Iowa. And I'll show the back of that one. And he is $2, number six. All right, we're gonna follow down my sheet, which means we're actually gonna talk about bracelets next. Now this is an eight inch bracelet, but it does have an extender on it. So you can wear this as an anklet. It is four strands with one of them being this beautiful one with rhinestones. Uh, so eight inch bracelet with extender, $2, number seven. Uh, then this one is a two strand bracelet. It is an eight and a half inch bracelet. It has the little silver beads and a bar. This also has an extender that you can wear as an anklet. That is $2, number 11. And then this one is a nine inch bracelet. It also has an extender to wear as an anklet. It has these little black discs in it. And that one is $2 number 13. All right, we are gonna go back to the pictures now. This is the larger, about a six and a half by four picture. Uh, we do know who she is. She's from um, Rockford, Illinois. But um, this is dated December 24th, and I believe that's 1884. And she is Nettie Kelly Dickerman. 
and she is three dollars number 22. All right, then we're gonna go to some plushes here. Uh, this is a McDonald's toy from 1994. It is the Siberian Tiger from the National Wildlife Federation. He's still in his original plastic and he is $3, number 29. And then I have this cute little Minnie Mouse. She has a clip and she is a tie. So tie and Disney partnership from 2013. Little Minnie Mouse is $3, number 30. All right, then I have some um, McDonald's uh, Happy Meal toys from The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, and that came out in 1998. Where did I see that? Oh, on the back here. 1998 McDonald's. I have four of them. Uh, the one for Zazu, this one has been opened, uh, but Zazu is in here, and I'll show him to you. Uh, Zazu is $3, number 32. Timon, he was also in the original Lion King. And he is $3, number 33. Here is Zira. There we go. There's Zira. And $3, number 34. And then Rafiki, there is Rafiki, and a $3 number 35 for Rafiki. All right, back to some pictures. Um, her name is written here. I just cannot quite read it, but um, she's holding her baby in a beautiful christening gown. And she is, oh, do I know? Nope, I don't know where she's from. Uh, she's $3, number 37. A wedding picture from Davenport, Iowa. And I don't remember anything. Oh, yeah, lots of stuff on the back. We do have their names, Dorothea Nagel and John something. And then I believe the person who wrote their names on there did, that's her date that she did it. Uh, the wedding picture is uh, $3, number 38. And then we've got this cute one now from her style of dress and her hair, I'm going to say late 20s, early 1930s for this one. And it is on thicker, um, thicker paper. It is a 9 by 6 photo. And that one is $3, number 39. And then I've got one more piece to show you which is this cute little fairy now this is a 20 inch necklace adorable fairy she's got uh, her red white and blue on and a little bald eagle now she does need a little tlc because she keeps coming out of her frame so she is going to need a little adhesive to keep her in the frame and she is a uh, four dollars number 46 all right, so those are the 18 items that are uh, still available from the sale. And let's go ahead and take a look at the 32 items that sold. Uh, so I did have some of these bracelets that also can be worn as anklets. So those are the ones that sold. A couple of pictures that I had sold. 
Um, a few of the plushes. A couple of postcards. Uh, they were um, uh, collections. Uh, this one had 22. That one had five. And we'll go down and take a look at some more of the jewelry. I did have some kind of Easter themed jewelry. You can see the little bunny. That one has like some colored eggs. That one has a bunny, a little bunny pendant. Um, some crosses also with Easter coming up. Um, some beautiful crosses. Some pretty rings. And then this piece that was hmm, a holder for something. I think maybe a comb or something. I'm not sure. But it's a great piece that somebody can craft with. And then I brought some books also. So I have a few alphabet books. Tomorrow's alphabet what's inside alphabet book the frog alphabet book amazing animals and the three questions based on a story by leo tolstoy um so those great books um all right so those are the items that sold today let me flip the camera around all right, well, my next steps for today are to um, organize the table, get it cleared off, get all the sold items upstairs. The unsold items, well, I'll have them down here where I can have easy access to them as people watch the speed round, watch the replay of the sale, and also watch this vlog tomorrow. Um, if anybody's interested in purchasing any items, then I can quickly get to them. Uh, once I get the table cleared, I am going to start setting up for tonight for the Sue Spezio show um, and get my uh, 15 items that I'll be bringing to the sale tonight. And then if I have any leftover time... <laughs> Um, I do have a sorting project that I'm working on that I will probably do a little more work on today. Um, and then, of course, I'm still probably either today um, or very early tomorrow working on getting my items for the Saturday night sale done um, also. Um, all right. So, oh, um, we can take a look at the mail also. I'll double check. I don't think I've gotten any additional postage in from the time I ended the sale and started organizing the table, but I do have some boxes already done um, out by the door that we will take a look at. All right. Well, I am by the front door and I'm going to show you the four packages that are here. There they are. And I do have 13 packages that I am um, waiting on payment for. And as so if I get payment between now and either when the Sue Spezio show starts tonight, which is at four o'clock my time, uh, between now and then and whenever the mail carrier gets here for pickup, um, yeah, if I get more in, I'm looking at the rainbow. <laughs> If I get more in, then I will be adding to that. Um, if I do, if I don't, then, um, oh, well, no, we have Saturday. Monday is a holiday. So we got to remember Monday is a holiday. So there won't be any mail on Monday, um, which means, yes, if I do get payment in, I can have a pickup on Saturday, um, but not on Monday. So might, might have a whole bunch by then. <laughs> uh, but that's where we're at with the mail right now. Um, all right, I am going to get working on the table. All right, well, it is about 10.15, and uh, we have wrapped up the Sue Spezio Show <laughs> with Aaron Proctor. Um... Let's see, what have I done since then? Well, I got the cats some food, um, a good start for their um, evening full tummy, let's all go to bed food. 
Um, I've got the table, actually the table and the counter all organized uh, because some of the items I had are kind of big and they took up a little bit of space. Uh, I also uh, have pulled some items that have sold after the sale. Uh, so that's always good. All right, so let's go ahead and start with, um, oh, there's my sheet. Okay, uh, so we bring 15 items to the sale. I sold six items, so nine are still available. And we're gonna go through those items. <laughs> uh, let me flip out. All right, so I have a pair of books from 1914. They are both by uh, Amy Bell Marlowe. And we have The Girls of Hillcrest Farm and A Little Miss Nobody. And these are part of a series. A uh, little bit of writing on them. And a little bit of binding issue. And they are um, kind of adventure books for girls, 1914. And the pair of them are $8. Uh, these are um, a pair of Japanese funeral pictures. Um, if you don't want to see, look away. I'm just going to show one of them. Um, and then I'll let you know when I am done showing. Uh, but this funeral took place in 1967. And here is um, everyone uh, gathered at the front. And um, for the pair of them, uh, they are five dollars, and they are um, eight by ten, uh, eight by ten pictures from a, a professional uh, photographer. Uh, here I have a lot of twenty-four postcards and a book, and they are of the San Francisco area. So twenty-four postcards, and they are seven dollars. Uh, this little sheet, now it would have had more on top, it would have had more on the bottom. Very possibly this would have said um, G'day, G-O-D-E-Y, um, could be um, G'day, and it probably would have had a year. Um, the fashions here guesstimate that they are in the um, 1870s. And this would have been an original page. You can see it does have some wear from the 1870s. Um, so approximately 150 years old. And this is, um, oh gosh, what was this? Nine by six? I think it was nine by six, something like that. Uh, this is $4. Uh, this would have been from a magazine of the times, uh, again, about 1875. And um, this was kind of torn out of the book. It's called um, Returning from Market. This one is a little smaller. It's more of like a five by seven size. Um, and, and what they did back in that time is when someone painted something, like this one does have the original artist, then they would take it to an engraver. And the engraver would make a, a copy of the original that could then be mass produced in these um, monthly and quarterly periodicals that came out. Now this is on thicker paper and uh, this one is also $4. Uh, 
Uh, this one also from the 1870s. It's called Worn Out. This was also an original painting that was then done as a an engraving. And this one appeared in, um, what is it? Demerets uh, Monthly Magazine. Uh, this one's a little bigger. Um, I'm going to say it's a little closer to like 9 by 7. I don't think it's an 8 by 10. Uh, but that one is also $4. I have this really cool slide projector. And it is by uh, Vulex. And it's the kind where this moves out. You put the slide in. You move it in. You take this slide out. Put the next one in and then you repeat on the other side. The lamp works perfectly. Everything on here works great. There is a stand here to raise and lower it. The fan, unfortunately, does not work. It might need just a minor adjustment, a minor cleaning, but the fan doesn't work. Still a really cool industrial look to this thing. Uh, that is $15. I have Dorothy. She is an MD plush. Uh, well, she is the MD mascot, uh, a promotion that they ran in the 1970s where they turned her into Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Uh, she is $10. And then I have this really cool wood sign. And you can see the Eiffel Tower is right here in the whole um, sign. This is 24 inches tall, but it's got such a great look to it. Uh, and that one is $8. All right, we are gonna flip over to the other side and we're going to talk about the six items that sold and uh, the uh, items that sold after the sale. All right, so talking about the items that sold, uh, this one happens to be a copy written, oh gosh, what was it, 18, did I write it down? 1887, this one, it's got a copyright on the back, 1887. This is a beautiful print. And ooh, I love the heads behind. Um, so this is called Daughter of Something. And I believe it's Daughter of Theater or something to do with theater. And that's why there are the masks behind her, but oh, they are so cool. And she is just gorgeous. Um, so that awesome print sold. Uh, this one, Mademoiselle uh, Jeremy. This is also an engraving from an original piece of art, 1890. And this lovely young lady on a horseback. So super cool on that one. Uh, the Mad Hatter. He is so awesome. He's got his little bat with him. Really, really cool. Uh, the Latch Hook Scotties. These are absolutely gorgeous. Really, really well made. Uh, the original work of art of Pansies. So well done. And then this lot of postcards, which is Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. Um, so those are the six items that sold. Uh, the additional items that um, sold are the um, McDonald's, Happy Meals for um, Simba's Pride, Lion King 2, and then I had the one that was the um, National Wildlife Federation, the tiger, and the little Cabbage Patch shoes. Um, all right, let me flip the camera around. 
Okay, uh, so while I still have a little, little energy left tonight, I am going to go ahead and take the items that sold upstairs and the items that are still available. Well, I'm going to find a spot down here to store them. Uh, so as people watch the um, replay of the Sue Spezio show or watch the vlog uh, tomorrow, uh, if anyone's interested in anything, I can still find it. <laughs> um, all right. Um, oh, gosh. I got a lot to do tomorrow. I'm going to think about it tomorrow <laughs> and uh, get a game plan together. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much going to wrap up tonight. So thank you so much for watching. The cats are getting the zoomies. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.